Let's get right to it. Requirements are skills a company wants you to have before they pay you that fat salary. The real world is all about skills and not degrees. You either have the skills or you don't. Data engineering has a skills requirement problem. A data analyst is a clearly defined role. It's been around for decades. They build KPIs and dashboards and they use SQL to source the data for tools like Power BI and Tableau. The machine learning engineers are clearly defined role. They follow the exact same process every time. For these roles, you need to learn SQL, Python, data cleansing, applied statistics, modeling, etc. With the data engineering role, we know we need SQL. That's the foundation for all these roles. Well, what's next? It looks like most jobs require Python. Okay, so we have SQL and Python. Now what? Well, that's the problem. Let's look at a job. We have SQL and Python on our first two bullet points. Okay, we're good there. Next, we have skilled in loading data into Snowflake. Say what? What's Snowflake? I thought that was a millennial. Actually, it's a cloud-based data warehouse that works with the big three cloud providers. So if you don't have Snowflake skills, this job's out of the question for you. Here's a job at Booz. Wait, they also want Scala and Java along with Python and SQL. Now, that's not a realistic skill set, but let's gloss over that for now. Let's check out the rest of the job. Kafka. Wait, what's that? All right, so now you're going to have to have Kafka. They also want big data technologies like Hadoop and Cassandra. Two jobs, two totally different skill sets outside of SQL. Here's another job. It's a data engineer at MasterCard. They want ETL, SSIS, and one programming language. SSIS is an ETL tool within the SQL Server stack of tools. So we have three jobs, and the only real commonality here is SQL. That's a problem for data engineers. And it's also a reason why there are no entry-level data engineering roles either. So what you focus on after SQL and Python will depend on what kind of data engineering role you want. As we've seen, you have a lot of options, and that's going to make preparation even harder. I created LogicBot for two reasons. One, to help people transition to a machine learning engineering role that are already in a data role, and in a data role, I mean heavy SQL. Number two, train those who aren't in an entry-level role as a data analyst. The data analyst is the only entry-level data role I know of. Companies are looking for skills. You either have them or you don't. You either understand what certifications are and their importance, or you don't. The truth is, you don't have that many options. Companies are looking for very specific skill sets, and without them, you're not going to be working in any data role. There is a recipe, and you must follow it if you want to work in any real-world data role. Then move to data engineering or machine learning engineering later on. LogicBot has that recipe. You need to follow it and learn the skills and gain the certs necessary. It's that simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.